so yes, we're at the end of Smash Brothers, and one of the things that I think that is obviously one of the most celebrated elements of Smash is its trailers. So today I want to go through what is essentially the compendium of Smash trailers that makes Smash Ultimate. And it isn't just Smash Ultimate, it's actually Smash for Wii U, because the style of trailers began at Smash for Wii U. So we're going to split these up because it would take way too damn long to do all of them. Um, we're going to do rate the trailers on a couple of different criterias. We're going to go from the beginning to the end. So I have a couple of uh, caveats to this. I'm going to rate them each kind of based on the quality of the reveal and or the impact of the reveal. And also uh, the quality of the trailer. Is the trailer well made? Is the trailer demonstrate the proper things? Is it fun and exciting? Is it hype? Is it does it get you really jazzed and amped and stuff like that? So uh, that'll be my premise going forward because essentially Smash trailers are like their own thing. Like very few other games are able to encapsulate the excitement that is a Smash Brothers trailer. Uh, does it make me feel? Yes, exactly. Stuff like that. Is revisiting the trailer uh, do stuff to me? Does it make me really excited? So um, let's go back. Uh, this is, we're going back seven years ago, uh, to the year 2000! And we're going to watch the very first trailer and go all the way down to Bayonetta. So, uh, let's begin. Now, the first one is the actual reveal trailer itself. The announcement slash reveal trailer of Smash for Wii U. That was the beginning of all that. Dang, and they started with Animal Crossing. That's right, it was a villager. And Kenny's most annoying main was born. It was that Metroid game we just played. Man, this is like super general, right? And this is almost the art style of like the 3DS game. Yeah, because actually, is this specifically for the 3DS version? It might be. Yeah, the SF4 art style. Everyone remember that Smash, Smash 4 was on 3DS? I almost forgot. And then the upgrade. That's a pretty great reveal there, man. That's a huge upgrade in art style and visuals compared to like the previous games. Dude. Dude. Several characters and what is this trailer? Mostly gameplay. A new Smash game just got announced and it's mostly showing off long, long running characters and stages. And then new characters. And then memes were born. So that's technically Villager's first reveal. And then you get Dark Villager. Yeah, we're, this is where Killager was essentially born. So I think this was a good trailer, right? I think Villager as a reveal character is kind of cool, right? Because it's it's obviously Animal Crossing is so much bigger now than it w even was back then. And Animal Crossing was pretty dang popular back then. So I think that's a good reveal of Smash in terms of gameplay and reveal trailer. And I think Killager coming back or actually becoming something is also pretty good. I think this is a solid like seven out of 10, right? Seven out of 10, nothing crazy. Knowing where this goes, it's a seven. It's a good anticipation of reveal and you, everyone's excited. Everyone's excited for what can possibly come next. Oh, and oh man, what comes next? All right, here we go. It's still amazing. It's still amazing. This was such a huge deal, dude. Even if you're not a Mega Man fan, this shit was huge. Even if you weren't a Mega Man fan, this shit is amazing. That reveal is great. And how much love and care they put into them? Granted, this is when, this is when like, Smash had Mega Man and Nintendo didn't even have Mega Man.
<laughs> it's so cool when Mario is immediately threatened by new characters, right? Sorry, Capcom. Did I say Nintendo? Capcom. Look at all this! Look at look at this trail! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Look at him murdering everybody! Jeez, dude. Cute references galore? Okay. I, I think we have to give it up for the damn Mega Man trailer, right? The reveal itself, in my opinion, is like a 10 out of 10. And this is sort of taking away my own personal bias because yeah, Mega Man being in Smash is a big deal. This was a obviously a big deal for me. I think X might have been a better character in general, but Mega Man is like, got so much history on Nintendo. It goes back to like the late 80s and stuff like that. And then the trailer itself is full of nothing but love, care, and attention, good buildup and reveals to eventually show you the fact that you get all these different abilities from Mega Man like 2, Mega Man 3, and all this kind of stuff. I don't know, dude. I think this trailer is is easily one of the best of all of them. Yeah, I still remember getting my ass absolutely blown. So I'm giving this one out of 10 out of 10. There might be several 10 out of 10s within this, and there might be some personal favorites of my own. Fantastic trailer, 10 out of 10. All right, here we go, next trailer. Breathe slowly as you hold this pose. Oh my God. I thought it was... Okay, it's just the low ass switch res... I'm sorry, Wii resolution. Did we all forget that this happened? Did we all forget that this character's in this game? The answer is yes. Does she use the Wii Fit Trainer board to beat your ass? Does she like, does she like grab it and then clock you with it? No? Oh man, is that it? Damn, that was actually it, all right. Uh, Wii Fit Trainer. Uh, if we can talk about characters that you were definitely not expecting to be in the game. Definitely unexpected, right? Overall, extremely disappointed? I'd say not. I'd say this is perfectly like right down the middle in terms of expectations. I think it's like a five, right? Right down the middle. The trailer's pretty fun. I, I give the trailer something between like a six or a seven. Something, something in between there. Maybe five or a six. I don't absolutely hate it, but I don't think there's anything about it that is specifically emotionally impactful or life-changing. I'd imagine, uh, dude, I, can, I absolutely can't imagine if we went back seven years, there is some dude and or dudette that is just like, ah! We fit traitor! Ah! If we took the modern day YouTube, what YouTube is now, and we went back seven years, we fit traitor! That is definitely what would have happened. Overall now, I think it's about a six out of 10. That's about a uh, 6 out of 10 trailer. It's unexpected. That's why I give Wii Fit Trainer a bit higher of a score. It's unexpected. It's definitely Rosalina, right? Rosalinda? Same thing. Damn, this is a great trailer already. Holy shit. Oh, this one! It's coming back to me. This is pretty amazing already. And there's the Mario Galaxy tie-in. Kirby's absolutely the main character of Smash. 100%, which makes perfect sense. And at this point, everyone was like, Rosalina! Ah! This is super cute. Did we get a Rainbow Road stage in Smash? 
I don't know. She's 30 feet tall. We didn't. It was in 3DS. Oh my god. Oh god, my god. So this would be sort of the equivalent of... No, I guess not. Rosalina's super tied to the story of Mar Mario Galaxy. She's like, the story. Um, I was thinking the, uh, the singer girl from, uh, Mario Odyssey? She's just in part of, like, one stage. Odyssey, uh, like that thing? Yeah, Paulina. Rosalina, wow, she was, was it Pauline or Paulina? It was Pauline. It can't be a coincidence. So a lot of the CG spectacle of this trailer was at the beginning. For sure. But the beginning was super charming. And... Also the end. And also the end. This is a pretty good trailer, I'd say. Right? I'd argue, like, Rosalina showing up isn't a huge reveal. It's like, that's like, once again, the five or a six. But the trailer is mega cute. Like, super cute. So, to the point, I think it bounces out around a seven. Pretty decent, right? Pretty, pretty, pretty dang decent and a good way to tie things in. I think there's not a lot of impact regarding Rosalina showing up in the game. Uh oh, the trailers have hit HD. Oh God, trailers did HD. Oh, that's right, this one. Damn, they're really, they're going hard on the rocky feel here. This is already a fantastic trailer and reveal. It's also the fact that they made Little Mac, um, what's that boxing anime? It's like, he's like heavily inspired in this game by that dude, by that style. Not Baki, is it? Ippo. Wow. Boo! <laughs> it's your time, man. Show him what you got, baby. One, two, keep it up, son. This is pretty sick, yeah, man. Yeah. Hit him hard. Uppercut. Body blow. Tie that armor up back. Don't flinch. Hit him, baby. And talk about, like, a classic. Like, Punch-Out is one of the most yeah. beloved damn Nintendo all games right. of all time. Which is the crazy that we haven't seen a new Punch-Out in no that long. Man. Since the friggin' Wii. Quit fooling around up there. No they show the fact that his recovery right. sucks. This one's not bad. I'd say in terms of reveal and trailer quality, I think the reveal is like an eight. I think the trailer is like a nine. I think I'm going to go with an eight out of 10 overall. Pretty damn good trailer. Not absolutely mind-blowing, but a character that is like, yeah, Little Mac isn't in Smash. He absolutely deserves a spot. Well, we got... Oh, is this actually Charizard just being individually playable? Oh, Jesus, this trailer is awesome already. Holy shit. Oh, it's the trio. Is that it? It's Greninja as well. Jesus, man, Nintendo spends all their dang money on these trailers. So, at the time, I think this was a newer Pokemon, technically.
So this is like two characters, technically. I feel like the Charizard reveal was more impactful than the Greninja reveal. Unless they throw in another character. No, I think that's it for this one. Lucario's from Brawl. Dang, alt colors? And then he has Ragnarok, of course. Oh, hi, you just have Ragnarok. Pretty good, right? I think, like, the characters themselves aren't super insane. I think, like, the reveals of the characters is, like, maybe a, a six? Maybe, maybe a seven? But the trailer itself, I think, is not bad. Possibly give it, like, an eight. So, I think I'm gonna balance it out to, like, a seven. It's gonna be weird to see any of these trailers get below, like, a five, right? Getting anywhere below a five, because they're all pretty decent quality, you know? So, I give that one a seven out of ten. Oh, Jesus, I forgot about this. This one gets like this fighter from Hyrule is quite impressive indeed. Big ass anime sequence. <laughs> Holy shit. Damn, they Sakurai really spent the majority of the budget on these trailers. He's like, I want you to put the budget into the trailers, damn it. Okay, so this trailer is already a 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's already a 10 out of 10. Fight has really good direction. It's anime AF. This was when Palutena was first revealed. Damn! Nintendo and their thirsty shit? Did they- wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm going back. Hold on a second. In my brain, I think I just saw a Nintendo reveal trailer show off a character for the first time and they specifically focused on her crotch and her tits. I'm gonna go back because I don't think what I saw was, was real. Maybe that was in my head, but let's go back literally 10 seconds and I'm just gonna verify what we just saw. Hold on a second. Wow! <laughs> Wow! Holy shit! Wow! 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 Divine intervention. All right. All right. You want to fight too, Lady Palutena? Oh man! Funny enough, she doesn't look nearly as she. She looked. She only looks okay in game. I remember having this reaction when she first was revealed. Perhaps you'd like to see some of the powers I want to use to protect you. Heavenly light. Explosive flame. Warp. Rocket jump. Reflect. Auto reticle. Jump glide. Counter. This is exciting. This is pretty good. Celestial fireworks. Lightweight. Black hole. Mega laser. Oh, that's her final smash. I was about to say. You don't have to prove anything to me, Link. I haven't seen Palutena played in this game in so long. Many worthy foes have gathered here. And I won't hold back on anyone. That's a pretty dang good trailer, right? So... You just dropped in to crash my party? Uh-huh. That's a very weird ending. Dark Pit. The Dark Pit tease. I'm gonna say, Palutena as like a character reveal, 
Number one, this was the first introduction of who the hell Palotena even is. So I feel like unless you played a lot of these games, like the, the really old games, if not some of the newer like 3DS ones, you probably are gonna have very little idea who this, who this character actually is. And it's already kind of a niche sort of game. So I feel like the character herself is like a six. The trailer is, is like close to being a 10. And so, so in fact that if I give it a nine, I feel bad. I think the trailer is like a 10 out of 10. So for me, I'm actually going to round that back out to being a nine, right? I feel like the quality of the trailer and how much effort they put into this, this did not need to be this crazy, right? This definitely did not need to be this absolute, absolutely insane. So I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10 because I really appreciate the elements that they put into the trailer. And I think they put a lot of effort despite this being kind of an obscure character. I don't know what this is. Oh! Oh, this is a fantastic trailer. This is already, this is already pretty great. If you get slight goosebumps by watching it again, again, then you already have a good trailer. And a good reveal. But man, it's also like the quality of the character. This character's got a lot of love and attention put into him here. It's also like, is the trailer that good or is it the reveal? I think this might be the reveal. And I'm saying like the trailer is amazing. I mean, obviously all the Smash trailers when they have like this gameplay stuff is really good. Um. I think this is a perfect example that is a insanely high quality reveal that makes the trailer better, right? The trailer itself isn't, it's got a good initial, like once again, reveal, but once you get into the trailer, it's just like, okay, cool gameplay stuff. We're gonna show off all those moves, but bye bye Not nothing like the friggin' Palutena trailer, which was insane. So to me, like the trailer is like a six, but the reveal is like a nine, right? Pac-Man is now in Smash Brothers is a big fucking deal. So I think that rounds out to an eight, eight out of 10. Next. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this one's just literally for internet memes. Right? They did this just because of their fans. <laughs> Water. <laughs> yeah, this is a me trailer, technically. The reveal that you can have me's in the game and you can play as them. They get their own styles. This is pretty damn great, dude. This is such an industry trailer too, right? Like in, in any other situation, this trailer shows up on TV, even in like a uh, confounded version, like a, a, like a smaller cut down version, makes no sense. This trailer is specifically for like people that follow Nintendo events and like Nintendo fans. Oh, and it was the reveal of Amiibos as well. Yeah. 
Damn, time to activate my cheats. <laughs> I thought he was about to be like, Mother, mother, <laughs> mother, mother. That is an incredibly charming trailer. There's not much of a reveal there outside of the fact that, you know, you get me fighters and amiibo. But I think in terms of like, that thing is, that's some, some legendary shit. That's a 10 out of 10. I have to give the trailer a 10 out of 10. It's impossible not to. Uh, not just the way it was shot and filmed, which is also friggin' ingenious. I think just the, the reasons for its existence is incredible. So I loved it. 10 out of 10. Still 10 out of 10 to this day. I have no idea. Book and flame, crest and blade and peanut butter? What the hell are we looking at? No. Oh, this was for... This was for Crom. What is this power? So Lucina and Crom, that's right. This was a multiple reveal. And then she's fighting Captain Falcon and shit? No, this was for not Crom. That's right. Oh my god, this trailer is so sick. Bottom! God damn! Oh, is it for Robin? It's for Robin, that's right. going to be all right. Time to tip the scale. Who? Robin. Smash as many I'm still going to say that. Who? Huh? But I am no ordinary swordsman. Thunder. Lucina looked familiar. All right. I feel like I've been aware of Lucina in some way in some form forever. Like kind of for a long time, but Robin, who? I'm still saying who. I can only use them so many times, which is why I carry my loving sword. This is no time for me to rest. This music, though. I'll fight at your side. Yeah, I don't remember if Lucina actually had. Yeah, she's literally Marth. I don't remember if they, if she actually had any different. Elements? If they ever Is made her a different character? The hero king himself? And the radiant hero of legend. Worthy of Damn, that redesigned indeed. Ike, though. Huh? Older Ike, it looks way cooler. She had some different stuff, yeah. I suppose I'll get my chance another day. Ugh. Yeah, and all the damn Krom memes. I remember this. Poor Krom doesn't make it. No, you get it today! To so he was like an alt costume. Arc fire. Arc center. Thoron. This was I forget when Krom was revealed as the alt costume. And then obviously female Robin. I think this is once again another example of like a really good trailer with multiple reveals in some way. It was also like the, the reveal that, hey, we're gonna be doing essentially uh what do they call them? They don't call them dupe characters or dope characters. They call them clones or scones there's a term they have it in smash right echo fighters thank you um this was like sort of the beginning of echo fighters in some way from what i understand where it's like yeah their play styles are the same so you can do this thing with her and just play another character i don't, I, I think this trailer is really good i think the trailer is like an eight out of ten it's got some some cool fan servicey stuff with captain falcon and shit like that and it's got really cool looking visuals. But man, it's like, once again, unless you were really attached to a FOIA emblem and the things that were related around it, it's gonna be a little weird to know who the hell is that? What's a Robin? Huh? Remember, Krom was definitely memed, right? I don't think it's bad, but I think in terms of the reveal, the reveal is like a five. The trailer is like an eight. I guess we're gonna go to either a six or a seven. And I don't know, man. It's somewhere between a six or a seven. And the reason is, I think six is too low and I think seven is too high. So it's a 6.5. There's a, there's now 0.5s and I usually don't feel this way. Here we go. 
Yeah, Krom was memed like Waluigi was in Smash Ultimate. Oh, this is a good trailer. Yes, you are. We can tell because you say it, you say it all the time. Can't believe Zeno shits is dead. Damn. Now it's short time. This is the Monado's power. This isn't bad. Jump. Speed. Shield. Faster. Once again, kind of an obscure game. Flash. And because Xenoblade has such an interesting history on the Wii, they barely made any copies of it, even though it was like well reviewed. And then would eventually become part of a series that is like one of the best selling games on the Switch and shit. Yeah, it was GameStop exclusive. That was it. Yeah, now Xenoblade's not obscure at all. I think that's pretty good, right? Fancy meeting you here, Monado boy. Reference to the bad dude. I think everything about it is like really good, but nothing super like spectacular. Um, I feel like the trailer is like an eight, and the characters a seven. So I would actually go a little bit higher because it, once again, is coming from technically, an obs at the time, uh, a well-known but somewhat memed, right? Like, the, the way Xenoblade was sort of treated was somewhat, like, memed around that time frame. It's like, Jesus, dude, you gotta go through all these hoops and, uh, you gotta jump through all these hoops to play this game. That's how it was sort of known. I would, I would think about giving it a 7, but I think that's too low. I give it an 8 out of 10. I think 8 out of 10 for, uh, that character showing up with that trailer and fighting those characters in the trailer. Pretty sick. 8 out of 10. Yeah, and they're back to this, like, crazy, like, battleground setting from the Mega Man trailer. Jesus. Bowser Jr. clowns the competition. This is, I feel like when this came out, it was somewhat like Bowser Jr. is going to be a character for sure. I think the quality of the reveal was pretty high. Like a lot of people were expecting this when it came out. It was kind of leaked ahead of time, too. Seems somewhat, but maybe that's what I'm thinking of. And then the reveal that they're all there? That's great. That's actually fantastic. Lemmy, Remy, Jimbo, and Bimbo? This is really cool. This is really, look at all this crazy shit. This is really cool. They're technically revealing a whole bunch of characters in one technically, right? Where they essentially have like Echo Fighters for one character for everybody. I think it's really, I, I don't know. I think, I think this is one of those trailers where it's hard to re remember what was going on at the time because there was apparently a leak. 
I think the reveal and the ramp up of what he is, like, oh yeah, Bowser Jr. made it into the game, and the eventual reveal of like, oh wow, he's not just one character, he technically has the skins and the voices of all the other characters that you can play as, which is neat. But I think that's a, I think that's a really high quality element that adds to the pizzazz of the trailer. I think both of these line up around an 8 for the reveal and an 8 on the trailer, in some way, right? Once again, I think it's really good, but nothing about all of this craziness really feels insane or like goosebump inducing or anything like that. So I think it's like an 8 out of 10 again. I think we're in DLC territory now. Time for a special announcement. Oh god. DLC territory. Mewtwo has joined the battle as a new fighter! This special bonus fighter will be available to those of you who purchased both the Nintendo 3DS and the Wii U version of the game. It's a free download! However, Mewtwo is still in development. It takes a lot of work even to complete one fighter. This completion date is scheduled for spring of 2015. Please stay tuned! Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. So, this one's technically unfair, right? The reveal is here. There is, there was a reveal. The trailer is a one, actual one out of 10 for the trailer. The reveal is probably like a seven because, you know, it's a popular and rare ass Pokemon. However, so we can't really rate all of it because there is also this, as I just saw. Yeah, I just fired up the next one on this list, and that's what that's what was there. So let's let's judge this one. So no big ramp up to reveal because you know they already did that. Damn that theme though. Cool trailer, man. Even for gameplay stuff, this is really neat. What was with Pikachu walking backwards there? What the hell? It's the, mostly the reveal of Mewtwo, which is like the big deal. But I think the problem is how even this trailer is gameplay, no crazy CG spectacle presentation, no really build up or anything. It just happens. I don't know. To me, it's like it's either it's either about how much you love Mewtwo. And that's really what it boils down to. But for me, the combination of the elements is like a uh, 6 out of 10. For me, this sort of boils back down to a 6 out of 10, even though I think the gameplay parts of the trailer are actually edited pretty well, and I like them a lot. 6 out of 10 from you two. Oh god, I forgot it started like this. Oh, this is amazing. The fact that they're just letting it rock. This is so cute. Oh my god, this is so cute. All the characters that are already in the game. <laughs> is he flipping them off? This is so cool. Turning turning the cunt into a playable character. I think that's a pretty badass reveal. Adding in all these crazy old Nintendo references and stuff, pretty great, man. Pretty fucking cool. 
Yeah, you gotta give him credit in the reveal for this one, because it's, like, surprising you. <clears throat> right? It's got all these cute references and elements in the trailer built in. All the old crazy-ass Nintendo light gun games. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten for the reveal, nine out of ten for the trailer. Nine out of ten. Really, really damn good trailer. And, uh, well executed, super endearing. I liked it a lot. This one's hitting me out of left field, dude. What the hell? Ness getting absolutely murdered. In every way. PK fire! So I have no idea what Lucas is from, and how he is from what he's from. I have no idea if he plays exactly the same as Ness, and he literally came out of nowhere, as the game, as the trailer is explaining. Is, it, is he Mother 3? The Untranslated? I think that's the subtitle of the game, right? He's... He's the main character of Mother 3, okay. I didn't know if Ness was the main character of the, uh, the Madre games. Funniest thing is I see the most indifference in the chat right now. I literally see somebody's like 2 out of 10. The person that comes after it, 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, wasn't this kid in Brawl? It's hard for me to remember what the hell characters were actually in Brawl. Because I played pretty much Ike exclusively. This bitch was in Brawl? This is a 4 out of 10, dude. It's a decent trailer, right? It's fine. But nothing about it comes across as specifically fantastic, much less is the character reveal anything super surprising. Four out of ten. Take that, Lucas. You can lick my nuts and suck my ass. <laughs> the variety of audio levels in these trailers. Then here it becomes the fire the fire emblem fiesta, right? The fire emblem fiesta. Roy's design is really neat in this game. It does look a lot better. All right, trailer just got an whatever I was about to give the trailer, whatever score I was about to give this trailer, I'm adding one point because of just that. I'm adding one point. Okay, so here's the thing. This trailer gets the exact same score as Lucas's shit. To me, this was a 4 out of 10 trailer. 100%. It's like something that's already been in the series and has been there for like a while. It's like not specifically surprising. The trailer's okay. It's fine. To me, this is like a 4 out of 10. However... <laughs> 5 out of 10. It gets a 5 out of 10. He wasn't in Brawl, but he was in Melee. Did you guys not play Smash Brothers Melee? To know that he's been in the series before? Did you guys- did you guys not- I mean, I understand if you haven't played Melee. You were born a few weeks ago. I get it. I know it's confusing.
Capcom going big this time. So this is Smash. This was, oh, here's the thing. Like, the first things to really bring, I'm, I'm gonna let the trailer rock. I'm gonna shut the Come fuck on. up. God, it's so sick. SF4 for you. Funny enough. Jesus. Oh my god, it's so sick looking. The whole double super aspect? Oh man. Okay. All right. Street Fighter Cross Tekken, cute. Cute reference. Um, I think this part of the trailer does a lot for me, right? This like tips it over being an eight out of 10 uh, for me personally, like this reveal. I think the quality of the reveal is a 10 out of 10, 100%. This was at that period where Smash Brothers was sort of obviously deviating into other games from Smash Brawl, where uh, it was like Snake and Sonic and stuff. And it's like, damn, that's really cool. But it felt if they felt like somewhat one offs where it was like, oh, we don't know if this is going to be happening very much. But then Mega Man shows up and now it's like, oh, man, also Ryu shows up like, whoa. To me, this was like Mega Man was a big deal because it was like, man, yeah, that makes perfect sense that Mega Man and Smash Brothers. And then all of a sudden Ryu shows up, obviously a big third party character, right? But a character that spans just way beyond Nintendo platforms. Like it was like, oh, they're putting Mega Man in the game because Mega Man, he looks like Mega Man 2 and 3 and Mega Man, like he looks like the old Nintendo version of, get it? He's not, it's not Mega Man X or anything. So they're not really going that crazy. But then it was like, oh shit, Pac-Man's in the game. Oh shit, Ryu's in the game now. This was sort of like the realization, like damn, uh, Ryu is fighting Pac-Man, is fighting Mega Man, is fighting Sonic the Hedgehog, right? Like, all this stuff was a big friggin' deal. At this point, it was like, dude, what else? Like, this is, this is video games the game. So to me, this has, like, this reveal is a, one, is a 10 out of 10 because those elements were coming together when this shit was revealed. And to me personally, I think the trailer's like an 8. I think it's a good trailer with a nice little nods and reveals and cool moments, but the, ten, the reveal's a 10. So I'm going to give it, I'm going to balance it out at a nine. I'd love to give this one at a 10 out of 10, but it just, it doesn't, this, is this trailer as good as the Palutena one? Hell no. Palutena trailer is like, is significantly better than this trailer. Is literally two points better, putting it at like a 10 out of 10. So uh, reveal 10 out of 10, trailer eight, nine out of 10. Fuck you. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! What the fuck? Chill the fuck out, Sakurai! What the fuck? Hang on! Anyway. No way. No fucking way. How is this real? How the shit is this real? <laughs> this still hits pretty hard to this day, right? This shit, this still, this is still the craziest reveal. Like absolute the craziest. This shit is impossible type of stuff.
this was the moment, right? This dude came after after Ryu. This was the moment that, oh, dude, shit's gonna get crazy. And we weren't, <laughs> we weren't wrong. Oh, it's so cute. It's just the fact that they gave Cloud so much shit. Like, this trailer is long. Tetsuken. Look at Bahamut Zero murdering everyone. That trailer's fake. So, I have some words about this trailer. Here's the thing. This shit is amazing right here. This, like, build-up and reveal stuff is amazing. Uh, I love that element of the trailer. And to me, this feels like a trailer that is budgeted that is actually limited in budget. This was one of those situations where it's like, oh, they spent all their fucking money getting the character in the game. The trailer is really cool. It has so many references and it's like, we did the best we could with what we, with what money we had left for this guy because the reveal itself and his inclusion is so astronomically crazy. It's like, why, fucking why? Like, to me, it's like the reveal itself breaks limits. It's an 11 out of 10. The reveal here is an 11 out of 10. But the trailer to me, I'd say if I was being critical about it, the trailer's like an eight. It's really cool, but if you're, unless you're a Final Fantasy fan or oh, like an FF7 fan or you're me, it's like a nine, right? I can't even give the trailer a super 10 out of 10 because it doesn't, the Palutena trailer's better. Like that's all I gotta say. The Palutena trailer's actually better. However, those things sort of are weird and they like balance themselves out. So to me, if I was being like on, on the roots of the merits of the quality of the trailer, it doesn't even have any seed. It doesn't have any big CGI elements. Like they literally spent all the money on getting the character in the game. I think it's hard to not give this shit a 10 out of 10 because Cloud is so fucking crazy, right? This dude was a Sony character, largely. Like, before this day, he was largely by an association. People thought he was going to be in PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. And that was the, the nuttiest thing about this shit. So, I don't know. I think if there has been one character that has astronomically, like, broken Smash in some way, Cloud was the first character to do it. There was, there was yeah, Ryu was a big, and uh, obviously Sonic was huge, and Snake is a really big one too. But like, like, this dude was never in Nintendo games, like type of shit. Now we are transcending shit. And it's like, what the fuck? Sonic was in plenty of Nintendo games. Sonic was a fucking Nintendo character come the GameCube practically. Yeah, Twin Snakes existed. There was, oh, there was already a ton of Solid Snake. Solid Snake began his life on Nintendo, for Christ's sake. Cloud's reveal is really nuts. Super fucking crazy. Still to this day that this shit is actually real. So to me, I have to give it a 10 out of 10. I have to. Like the, the quality of the reveal itself almost transcends that the trailer is not super great, but it balances out to a 10 out of 10. And I can be critical there. I can be critical and be like, this is the best trailer. Cloud sucks my nuts and licks my ass. And this reveal is amazing. Oh God. Oh. And I, I, this trailer is actually kind of, kind of fucking budget. <laughs> It's kind of budget when you look at it. This way. Big brother? He's my brother! We're your family. I'm so sorry, everyone. I feel like I have no choice but to...
This is cute. Join Smash! What are you doing? Yeah, Corin. Sorry, big brother. I've made my decision. How could you? You're giving up on us and battling completely unknown opponents. They look tough. Not a problem for my big brother. I swear to God, if you say big brother one more time. The Auto Blade is taking on a form I've never seen. Oh, that looks painful. He's using Dragon Fang. The power of the first dragon. Wow, he's really mastered it, hasn't he? What did you expect? Are those warriors of the Outrealms? <laughs> like these Fire Emblem shitheads. <laughs> Look at all these fucking Fire Emblem characters. And here's another one. I remember there being a hell of a lot of discourse after this shit, right? Because it was this, and then you're adding another one, and it was after fucking Cloud. People were like, people were, I remember people being fucking livid. Not to worry. I think Corrin just came out at the worst time. Them for me. Big brother is now big sister. Wow! Even better! The game wasn't even out yet? <laughs> what? What? Huh? I've decided. My path is to take on the legendary heroes of Smash. So nobody even knew who the hell this kid was? He was out in Japan. Uh, this to me, if, if that's the case, this shit to me really comes across as a cross-promotional character. I think this might have been the first character to do that. Where Corrin was like, oh. Oh, they're putting this in so they can promote the game. I think this might have been the first time that really felt apparent. This feels like, especially because it's around a character that had not been out yet. Like, in a game that technically the majority of the audience of people purchasing this game would have no fucking clue who the hell they are? That seems weird. The trailer, once again, is fine. The trailer's like a 6 out of 10. That opening, though... Actually, I don't know, man. That opening, though, is a little... just confusing and weird. For someone that's like, obviously, Smash trailers are supposed to get you into the character in some way. To sort of, like, feel something about them. I kind of... I'm gonna, I'm gonna backtrack on that opening. I think that... I think the trailer was probably a 5. Um, but the reveal itself is... Hella weird. What the fuck is a Corrin? What's going on? Three out of ten. That's a weird... That's a weird bunch of shit. Uh. Two down! Don't get careless, Pit. A challenger approaches. All the misdirect and Pit's huh? an angel. Oh, oh, shit. Another angel. Must have missed one. Me because, I mean, to preface this, uh, me and Simmons have been hyping up Bayonetta for literally a year in Smash Brothers. We have been hyping up this character to be in Smash for literally a full fucking year. Everyone said she was too sexy. Look at that. Everyone said she was too sexy. Everyone was like, you guys are fucking crazy. They never put a character that sexy in. Look at that shit. They would never do that. They said. Let's dance, boy. <laughs> and it gets wicked. Who is that, Lady Palatina? It's an Umber Witch. I thought they were extinct. Cheeky. Look at that, Palatina Especially knows everything about her. Endangered species. Watch out for her bullet arts. She uses four guns. A pursuing attack? I like it when you play hard to get. Wow, they're huge! Her wicked weaves attack summon the limbs Wow, they're of huge! 
<laughs> Take that, Wario. Gotcha. It's witch time. Gotcha. Witches can control time itself. Is that, all got? that is still super cool, man. The way they, the way they made this character into the game. If you need to learn how to talk to a lady, ask your mother. Gotcha. Fire. Did, she, did she just make a mom joke? In a trailer? She did. Because it's a Kamiya game. Tell me you're done already. She's so tough. Don't be such a wimp. Almost. Time for the best part. Smashing. That's Gamora. She can also summon huge demons. Enough talk, goddess. Don't mess with a witch. So, I feel like my feelings on the Bayonetta trailer kind of line up kind of similar to Cloud. I mean, because this is obviously like, you know, how the hell did they, how the hell did they do this shit, right? How the heck did they, how did they make this happen in so many ways? To me, like, the reveal is really big, like, substantially, like, absolutely like a 10 out of 10, like, holy shit, Bayonetta? Fuck! I mean, it makes sense because she's practically a Nintendo character at this point. But similar to Cloud, right? Like, the big guest characters, they don't have super expensive trailers. Like, there's a lot of really great moments with what they got, but it's clear that, like, the DLC characters in this game, it's pretty clear that the majority of the DLC characters that came after launch didn't get a ton of huge cinematic trailers because they just didn't have the budget anymore. It seems that way, right? At least it seems that way. Which actually flips completely 180 in Smash Ultimate, where they almost guarantee that almost all the characters get big CG trailers and big reveals in the next game. Which was smart, because that allowed Ultimate to get like three years of support. Yeah, I think Bayonetta is a big ass reveal. I think that's a big, I think it's a 10 out of 10, like holy shit out of left field, kind of insane. Nobody would have saw this happening unless you were me and Simmons. And we had been promoting the gospel for that many, for like over a year or some shit at this point. However, the trailer has the exact same problems as the cloud trailer. It's nice, it's cute, it sets up for a lot of cool shit. But I think overall, is this as big as a cloud reveal? It doesn't have like the absolute impossibility. To me, it felt like Bayonetta just made sense. Bayonetta was like, oh yeah, she can, she can be in the game. She 100% should be in the game. She's not too sexy, shut the fuck up. So for me, I think overall, in terms of quality reveal and trailer, it's somewhere between like an eight or a nine. Cause I think I give, I think I give her trailer like an eight. I think I give her reveal like a 10. So I guess that, I guess that balances out to a nine. I feel, that feels about right. I feel, I've actually, I'm fairly confident in saying Bayonetta's, Bayonetta's reveal slash trailer is a nine out of 10. Yeah, Bayonetta was the next closest winner of the Smash ballot outside of uh, Sora, technically. And they were trying to get Sora in there, but they just couldn't do it. Yeah, and that actually concludes Smash Brothers for Wii U. That was all the characters. I'm really confused on like Roy and Lucas and shit. Roy and Lucas were DLC? What the hell? Damn, they really changed what their DLC was going to be after like Ryu and Cloud, or even, I'm sorry, after this game in general. Uh, a lot, a lot of stuff changed with the way Smash Brothers handles its trailers after this shit. Smash for Wii U has some fantastic fucking trailers and reveals, right? And I feel it's like, it's like hard to judge them just based on quality of trailer itself when the reveal is a big part of the trailer. The lack of information contributes so much to what makes a trailer great, but it's how you use that lack of information to surprise an audience. And, and some of these trailers, even though they have a limited budget, for example, the Ryu trailer, the Cloud trailer, the Bayonetta trailer, all of these are guest characters that people didn't think could make it into the game, but they do some really fun, cute stuff with their trailers uh, and the lack of budget they're in. So for me, I think Smash has some of the best goddamn trailers of any fighting game on the planet. And I truly think that most fighting games should strive to hit these notes in their trailers. Best trailer, oh man. Oh shit. Yeah, I think, I think we know what the best trailer is. Mega Man was the best trailer, yeah. No, I'm not, I think Mega Man was the best trailer. In terms of reveal, in terms of quality of trailer, in terms of cool gameplay references and all this stuff, I think Mega Man was the biggest one. 
this isn't even my favorite character in the game, right? This this was my favorite character in the game, but there's, I think Cloud, like, absolutely was, Jesus, this is the character that will make me always come back to this fucking game, which which has been the case for the past, like, seven years. Um, yeah, I think Mega Man is, is ha has everything. Shock factor, trailer quality, cool CG cinematic sequences, Mario nearly getting decapitated, super memorable. Everyone was losing their fucking minds. Good shit. Good shit.